It's not, not the skills that will make you successful and wealthy. It's the mindset all right, that will make you successful and wealthy. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 397th episode of Potty Talk. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be talking the freedom lifestyle, baby. Freedom lifestyle, baby. All right, you've probably heard mm-hmm. us talk about that before. Mm-hmm. How to achieve the freedom lifestyle mm-hmm. with your plumbing business. Okay. All right, it's not just at a job, mm-hmm. it's an adventure, as we used to say in the Navy. <laughs> That's way back. Wow. All right, when we were mm-hmm. in the Navy. Mm-hmm. All right. But mm-hmm. uh, we're talking about the freedom lifestyle. You know, we start this plumbing business not just to have a job. Gosh, I hope. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, but uh, to create, you know, a life for, for ourselves. Mm-hmm. All right. And that's and what we families. call the, the freedom lifestyle. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. So you want to get into that? Yeah. Well, yeah. And we hear that all the time from, from customers, from customers, from clients, and from people that have gone through the academy. The, the main reason they started their plumbing business was for freedom. They wanted the freedom. Freedom. Freedom, right? right. Um, but soon after starting a plumbing business, all of a sudden you're tied to it more than you thought yes. you would be. And freedom is um, nowhere on the radar. Right. It was a dream you had, but now it seems like you're living this nightmare <laughs> instead of this beautiful dream. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what can we do about that? And okay. It's, it's all on how we look at the business. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And so the, the first thing we want to do, all right, when we look at the business is to, to realize that the business works for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't work for it. <laughs> All right. It works for you. Okay. It's not just a job that you own. Okay. We, yes. we got to get past that. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not a job. It's this asset that you're looking to build. Okay. So the business needs to work for you, you not for it. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's not the boss of you. Right. <laughs> like, it's not the boss of me. It's not the boss. Um, yeah, it, and it's a different mindset, right? Again, more than likely, more than likely, you worked at other plumbing shops, and then you eventually, you know, started your own business. And it is difficult to get out of the the mindset or, or to change the mindset that it's it's your plumbing business. Um, it's not a job that you go to anymore. It's it's actually yours, right? Right. So you may yes, there may be jobs that you got to do and that kind of, of stuff. Especially you know, you're in the truck still, and, and lots that, of hats you wear. Right, but, right. You're wearing all these different hats, so there's mm, jobs to do. Correct. But you're not doing that because the business demands that you do the jobs. You're doing the jobs so that you that you grow this business asset. Right. Okay, that mm-hmm. it's it's a mind it's a mind thing here. We, you know, again, we we talk about it. You know, in the academy, we talk about it here in potty talk and we, with our clients that you know it's. Um, it's 20% of your success in your plumbing business, all right, has to do with, with practical things, mm-hmm. things, you know, th- these kinds of systems, you know, and, and, and Branding, the, the, the techniques marketing, and you know, those kinds those of things. things yeah. 80% of it, mm-hmm. of your success depends on what you have up here inside your head, mm-hmm. okay, and, and how you think of it. Yep. And think about it. So true. Okay. So true. And getting and it and it does take a little bit, right? Again, if you if you've been working for other plumbing companies, and also I'm going to just use a general statement. More than likely, you didn't come from a family of entrepreneurs, right? Um, so that's not something that you grew up with, or not something that's been a part of of your life. That it's everyone works, and and more than likely, you've got family or friends that you know are looking at you going, what are you doing? That's awfully risky to start start a business, let alone a plumbing business. Right. Gosh, why don't you just go get a real job, right? So Yeah, share, <laughs> share in the comments if you've heard anything like that from yes. your family or friends. Right, let us right. know what they say. You know, and, and not that they're trying to hurt you, of no. course, and we say this all the time. It's not that they're you know, wanting to put you down or whatever. It's just that their fears are now, they put them on you. Right. Gosh, I would never How That's awfully risky. And what about your insurance? And what about this? Or what about that? Right. Uh, we hear that all the time. And so you've got that mindset to go along with the mindset you've already got of you've always had a job, air right. quotes. And it's that, right. That, that blue collar mentality, mm-hmm. which is nothing wrong with that. That's, that's what um, has made you strong. And quite frankly, is what, what's made America strong. Uh, you know, any kind of free economy, um, the free economies out there is, is you know, what, makes it stronger, the, the blue collar workers. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so that's what you, you're bringing into this business. But if you heard the saying work smarter, not harder. Mm-hmm. Okay. That especially applies yes. to the idea of growing your plumbing business mm-hmm. of working smarter. So it's looking at things different, not just doing more work and working longer hours, you right. know, in the truck and, you know, on jobs and that, that kind of stuff. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. It's, it's learning to work smarter. It's thinking about it different, mm-hmm. differently, thinking about your work differently. Mm-hmm. 
valuing yourself differently too. That that was a transition, you know, I had to make it through and I've seen, I see many have the same issue. Mm-hmm. You're going from working with the idea of working with your hands. And again, you may still be working with your hands. And I took a lot a of while. pride of working with my, my hands. And mm-hmm. you know, I, you're I, probably really a good plumber. Right. Right. All right. But it's, it's now learning to, um, you know, look, to learn to work on the business instead of in the business, Right. both having that mindset and handset. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. One um, great book to, to recommend, and we recommend it multiple times, is Rich Dad, Poor Dad, right? And I know that the, it's just a mindset thing of, of what the rich dad thought versus what the poor dad thought. Um, if you haven't read that, gosh, get that book, get it on audio, mm-hmm. you know, listen to it while you're in the truck or, or get it on Kindle or, or whatever. Um, but that, that one really helps from a mindset standpoint. Um, and then the other one is um, uh, The E-Myth entrepreneurial myth e-myth by um michael gerber michael gerber yes another great gosh it'll it, it will, that one will certainly speak to you right um but it's, it's the mind thing that that's going to trip you up if you don't if you don't make this switch again we, we talk about this all the time it's it's certainly and i think we just, we just been speaking about it here it's it, it's not not the skills that will make you successful mm-hmm. and wealthy mm-hmm. it's the mindset all right, that will make you successful and wealthy. Correct. All right, so it's looking at the business that, that it works for you, mm-hmm. you not for it. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. All don't right. Own, don't stop. Yeah, you're. It's it's not the boss of you, and not not to own your job. Gosh, okay. so many people. Right. See that all the time. So we, so we have the business working for you. Mm-hmm. The next thing is you want the business working with you. Okay. Okay, mm-hmm. which means. On, on your time schedule, okay, <laughs> for your life. <laughs> That's why we talk about it. it's so important to know your why, what we call your why, your mm-hmm. quotes, your why, right. okay, mm-hmm. why you're doing what you're doing. And it's not because you love plumbing. If you love plumbing, go be a good plumber for someone else, mm-hmm. okay? But it really what, what's happening is, and you alluded to it, we, we, we talk, we've talked to hundreds, mm-hmm. okay, what they're looking for freedom. You're looking for freedom, mm-hmm. okay? I, I, wanna, I wanna be able to do more with my time. I wanna be able to come and go. I want, okay. I want to um, spend more time with my family. I want right. to um, support my community in a certain way, maybe my, maybe my church in a certain way or whatever it might be. You're wanting the freedom to not only have the time to do that, but the choices to do that. Right. You know, so a, a good example of this is the idea of working 24-7 and holidays, and we got to work all the time, especially in, right. in, you know, in our field here. Mm-hmm. And we hear, well, I got, I got, I got, we got to work 20, but if I don't work 24-7, I, mean, I, I don't have any work. Right. Well, you know, I, isn't I, that I, a law that right. a plumbing company I'll, has to work 24-7? I have to work. I got to be available for all emergency work. No, you don't. 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 In fact, you, you'll make millions not. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and you have ha- happier staff, right? Mm-hmm. If that, you know, we're talking about having the, the company work for you as the owner, right? Okay, giving you the lifestyle that you want, mm-hmm. okay? Whatever now, that now is. Now, again, if you want to work twenty four seven, and do you, you know, as a plumber, go, go be a great plumber, mm-hmm. okay? For for another company, and say I'll work, I'll work twenty four seven, you know. And you're available all the time and can be on call all the time and yeah. do all that and, the, and have fun with that. The okay. phone goes off at 2 a.m. and you're, you're good with getting up at 2 a.m. to go right. on some emergency job. Working every weekend <laughs> and the holidays, you know, you don't want to be sitting with your family at Christmas. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you must rather be on a job, you know, opening a drain or something, you know, <laughs> with your head stuck in a sewer. Right. You know? Put in the comments. We'd love to hear, <laughs> like, right now, do you work 24-7? And what's, what's holding you back from stopping um, working 24 seven, you know, what, what do you, what's your thoughts of why you think you have to work 24 seven? Let us know in the comments. Um, and I'm sure we'll have an, a response. To oh, I'm, I'm sure. You, right, right, right. <laughs> you know, we hear it all the time, but when, again, we see it time and time, hundreds, mm. hundreds of times now with our clients mm. that once they stop, they're just amazed that there's, there's life. There's life after they're making money. They're make, make, making lots of money. Their staff, their, right. their techs are happier guys. Again, if you've worked for, if you worked, if you worked for a plumbing company before and you were 24 seven, you're on call. How much did you hate that? Let us know in the comments. How much did you hate that? Um, and so if you're building a plumbing company, now you've got a, you know, a couple of guys working for you. Do you want them to have to do that? Right. Is that the life you want for them? Or do you want them to be able to have a life, a family, do the things that they want to do on holidays, on weekends, at night, not be woken up in the middle of the night, you know, to a, I almost said pager. Not a, <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> used to be pagers. Um, but a, a mm-hmm. phone call that, you know, at midnight, they got to get up, get out of bed, go, you know, whatever. Stick their head in the toilet. Right. Um, so uh, again, go, and you said it earlier, it's, it's your why. Why did you start the plumbing business in the first place? What kind of life do you want to have? You get to decide. 
Here, here's the thing, guys. Right. You get to, to decide what kind of plum, plumbing business. If you if you say, you know what, I only want to work four days a week. Four days a week, and that's it. Every you know, we're we're totally closed Friday through through Sunday. You can do that yes. because it's your plumbing business. There's not some regulatory something out there that's going to come and like knock, knock, knock. Hey, Mr. Plumbing business owner, didn't you know it's a law to work 24 seven? No, it's your plumbing business. You get to decide. Maybe you only want to work three days a week, maybe whatever. You get to decide. It's your business. And that's right. the mind shift thing that needs and to happen. And you can still be very successful. Of and more important, again, you know, even how we define success is having a thriving, self-sufficient, and very profitable plumbing business mm -hmm. and a life too. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, Whatever that life looks like for you. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, again, that's a good point there. There's not some regulatory, you know, agency out there that says, you got to work. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, so we say, well, I'll miss the emergency. I'll miss, I'll miss some calls. So? At what, what's more important, to, you know, hang, hanging out with your, being at your kids, um, you know, ball game? You know, at night or over the, you know, and spending time with your family on the weekends or even you being able, you know, going, go, going fishing or hunting or, you know, do stuff that we're into or whatever. Right. Or, or, you know, making a couple extra thousand dollars. Right. You know, what? I mm -hmm. mean, you got, you, you got to weigh it. You, you have, you to, have right. to weigh it. I mean, you don't have, you know, right. again, mm -hmm. have it revolve around right. the lifestyle that you want. Yeah. And I'm going to use an example of Chick-fil-A. Everybody knows Chick-fil-A. Everybody loves Chick-fil-A. If you don't have Chick-fil-A in your area, you need to move to another area. Just saying. <laughs> Chick-fil-A sandwiches are just the best. Anyway, when the owner started Chick-fil-A, the name of the um, owner was um, Truett Cathy. And great book. It's a small book, an autobiography that he wrote. But when he started, he was going to, his restaurants were going to be in malls right? For the most part in malls. And he wasn't going to open on Sundays because he's a, a Christian man of faith and believed that Sunday is a day of rest. And so mm -hmm. he decided from the beginning, our restaurants are not going to be open on Sundays. Or well, to give the people, you know, their, yes, their employees, staff, everybody, everybody mm -hmm. a chance to have the day off with family because that was very important to him. Correct. And yes. part of their culture. So right. they made, he made that decision before he even started the restaurant. It wasn't like he was into it for a while and then made, then changed. He started it from the beginning. Um, and Everyone told him he was insane. You're going to be in malls. Sundays the, are one of the busiest days for the malls. Restaurant associations all right. said he's going to fail. Yeah, there, there's huge. Right, there's no right. way that it can work. Well, you know what? Let's face it. Home service companies are a dime a dozen. Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. It may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. That's why there's Kick Charge, the industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency who has been instrumental in getting home service providers noticed for over 20 years. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. To get more information? Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Kick Charge and start getting noticed today. Chick-fil-A is probably the most well-loved, well-known um, fast food restaurant short of McDonald's, they're the most well-known, but certainly not the most loved. I mean, when you go to Chick-fil-A, it doesn't matter what time of day or night, how many times do you go and the line is out the door? Yeah, but, right. And I mean, they have a great business. How many times do you, do you crave a Chick-fil-A on a Sunday? Never fails. It's like, right. ooh, I want a quick lunch, Chick-fil-A. Oh, All man. Right. But makes me crave it even more, and I'm going to go on Mondays then. Right. Um, but that, that's a great example of a restaurant making the decision because of the life they wanted – for, for them and their employees to not be open on Sunday. So they made that decision against all odds, against against the grain, all the things, and they're successful. So. There we go. Great mm -hmm. examples. We yes, are. I want Chick-fil-A yeah, now. I know. Sorry. Got me, right. Ooh, really <laughs> got me thinking about that. Yes. <laughs> hey, before we do run off to Chick-fil-A, all right, hey, I have something for you for joining us here. Check mm -hmm. it out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right, welcome back. Okay, we're talking about living the freedom lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Okay. And eating Chick-fil-A sandwiches. And eating Chick-fil-A sandwiches, <laughs> yes. All right. So what, what does that mean to your business? Okay. You want, you want to position your business so that it works for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not you working for it, mm -hmm. that, you, that it works for you. Okay. It's an asset. You're, you're growing an asset there. Mm -hmm. Next, you want to position your business so that it works with you. Okay. The life that you want. We talked about your why. Okay. Why, why are you doing this? It really, basically your why is, you know, how do you picture your life? You really do have the opportunity here um, with your plumbing business mm -hmm. to create the life that you desire. Right. 
So what does that look like? Okay, so you need to know that. You have okay? to know that. And then you, you structure the business around you with that, okay? Right. Mm -hmm. And then finally here, you want the business to work without you, okay? <laughs> Wait a minute, work with you. <laughs> and now? Without you. <laughs> you want your business saying leave, okay? <laughs> you know, it's like the old Amityville horror movie, the movie, oh. get, get out. <laughs> You know, like, if I ever had my house, if I ever was in my house and heard a voice say, get out, I'm out of there. <laughs> <I'm leaving. laughs> right? yeah, they didn't leave. No, they, why, so everything know. happened then. You know, I'm out, but I'm out of there. You, know, okay, you want your business to be feeling like, you know, get out. I, mm -hmm. I got this. Okay. In fact, we love it. We hear, you know, with our clients and all, we get things set up here. Mm -hmm. Find out, we get them first, you know, get do vacations. All right. Leave, leave, right. go do, you know, yeah, go you play. Cut a couple plumbers right? on. And then you're made CSR. that how well the business runs without you. Right. In fact, it even does better without you. <laughs> We've heard it so many times. Right. Our clients are like, man, we took, you know, a four day, four day weekend. We came back and they made more money. Everything operated great. And then, then they have the confidence saying, I'm taking a whole week off. Right. And, and then also what happens, you know, something may break while you're gone. Well, then you identify what broke, you know, what system wasn't in place or what wasn't clear. You fix that. And then the next time you go on vacation, hopefully, you know, they, those things are in place and you have less, less breakage. So, but, yes. You know, ultimately you're setting it up for, for your life so that you're not having to make all the decisions being pulled in, you know, everything, you know, the pricing, every, you That's know, what I was they're calling say. you for jobs. You know, you're, you know, uh, how many, how many times are you, you know, if you do go away, if you ever, you know, you ever get away on any kind of vacation, mm -hmm. you spend the whole time on the phone. Right. Because they're calling you and saying, I'm out here with Mrs. Jones and I got it's this and what should I do with this and that and this and that. And the next one calls and it's like, if you build that kind of culture like that, it yes. will eat you alive. Yep. Okay. And your family's going to hate you. Right. Because they're like, well, Dad, we're on vacation here. Why aren't you here with that, us? That's not the freedom lifestyle. That's not the freedom lifestyle. And then ultimately, we're setting this business up so you want it to run without you mm -hmm. because it makes it more valuable. You know, ultimately, you're setting the business up. Every business is set up to sell. And your heart right now, you may say, no, I want to pass this on to my kids. And oh, I, they don't want and it. They don't want it. It ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. But I get it. Okay. We have that <laughs> dream. That's cool. Okay. Um, but ultimately, the business needs to be set up to sell. Even if you never sell. Right. And, but you want to be a business that's really going to be worth anything is one that can run by, on its own. Mm -hmm. Basically, we talk about setting up a money machine. Okay. That it doesn't need you. Right. So you got to get over your, so this pride, this ego yes. of, you know, well, I'm running things. Right. You know, if you feel like, I, what am I going to do without, if I, I got to be there, mm -hmm. it needs me. Mm -hmm. You have an, you have an ego problem. You have a pride problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there's some other greater life issues happening there. Mm -hmm. All right. You, you got to, got to get away from that. Okay. And, and now, your business isn't healthy. Right. Then if that's the case. Right. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, your business isn't healthy. Right. On, on a personal level, I, with all the guys, I said, did you dream of becoming a plumber when you were a kid? Mm -hmm. Here's the, here's an opportunity you have. what did you dream of doing when you were a boy, mm -hmm. when you were a kid? Now, some of the things, you know, I, you know, I was going to play, you know, NFL professional football, <laughs> but by the time I got my business, the realities of me playing, playing professional football are not there, but I could be on a, you know, a, a Y league, mm -hmm. you know, you know, that kind of a thing mm -hmm. or, you know, racing mm -hmm. or whatever you're into that, that kind of stuff. Or, mm -hmm. or you want to get into, you know, we, you know, pro, I've known guys that, you know, were interested in, you know, being in the pro bass fisherman mm -hmm. circuit, right. you know? Mm -hmm. and so they had all the, you know, now they could afford to buy the rig and mm -hmm. they got this business supporting and they're, they're all fishing. Or maybe there's playing. something else you want to do that uh, is building other assets, right? right. What if you want to, you know, buy some property, flip some houses, you know, you really, you, you like doing that type of thing. I'm um, taking a house. It's kind of run down or whatever, flip it, make some money on it. Um, cause that's, that's an asset, whatever it is. Um, again, going back to, you gotta, you have to know your why, gotta know right. your why. But, um, but for it not to work, for the business to run without you, you have to set it up so that it can run without you. Right. Mm. So you're setting up the, you know, the, the, the SOPs and the, and the systems, you're putting things in place. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, if, you're, if you are making it to where every single job you have to be involved in, you will never be able to have a vacation and you'll never be able to um, walk away. I mean, or, or just take any time off because the business constantly um, is right. going to require you to be there. Right. And, and ultimately it doesn't matter if you build a wall, you know, I, I'm doing, you know, I'm talking, doing million dollar homes and I'm, you know, I got, I got 30 trucks and this and that, and then they're, they're there all the time. Right. You will have nothing to sell. It doesn't matter that you're doing 20 million a year yeah. or whatever. The, the, the real money is not going to want to buy your business, this asset, because it depends on you. Right. Well, they may buy it, but then oh, they're going to hire right. you as their employee right. to run it. They'll buy it for little, 
Oh, you'll oh, yeah, yeah, next to nothing. Right. right, and you'll have to, they'll have then to, you'll have have to you run it. Run it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Boy, that and sounds they'll, fun. And they'll make the promises. If you build it this, you know, you'll get these bonuses and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, sign up. If that, that's, <laughs> <laughs> right. And okay. really, do you want to work for someone else? You run your old business, right. even though you may have got a chunk of change, right, and then still work for someone else. I mean, that right. just we, sounds we, we never insane. heard. We <laughs> talk to those guys. We never hear the guys feeling good about it no. after it's done. No, no, okay. No. So mm-hmm. start now. Yes. Is you're, you're building this where you're setting it up. And we talk about this, you know, you know, MDP is all about building a thriving, self-sustaining. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's the middle. I mean, it's able to run without you. Very profitable plumbing business. Right. Okay. And yep. you set that up from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Okay. And even if you've been in, you know, in the road here, down the road here a little bit, um, you, you still can do that, mm-hmm. you know, and put those things in process. Right. Like, look at, right. uh, what are some things that, um, you're constantly having to deal with, right, on, on a day-to-day basis. Okay, well, whatever those are, you need to put in systems, put systems in place that the, that the system can take care of itself or it, it's on someone else, right? For your techs to constantly be calling you for, for whatever, for one, you're training them. If you're constantly answering their, all their questions, right. you're training them to do that. Um, but start looking at, okay, do I need to have a lead tech? Is it time for a GM, someone else that can take it off of me so that I'm not the one that's constantly involved? Or you know, what if it's time to hire someone? Are you the only one that can hire? Well, okay, then hopefully you get to a point where, you know, that's not you anymore. And that the system knows it's time to hire someone. Are you the only one that can um, get advertising done? That it needs to be someone else. All the things that you do right now, you and I get it, if you're brand new starting your plumbing business, you're not there yet. But those are the things you need to be thinking about so that you don't find yourself in a trap where you're the only one you think that can do these things. And ultimately this dream becomes a nightmare. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and you own your job and you're on vacation and you're always on the phone and your wife's looking at you like, are you kidding me? Right. Why did we even bother? So there we go. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you, you have questions in this area, all right. And, and looking, you know, how, how do you set your business up? So it works for you and with you and without you. Okay. We, we, we want to help. Okay. And so schedule a free strategy call. Okay. It's free. Mm-hmm. And I'm not looking to get you. Okay. <laughs> And uh, we'll get you pointed in the right direction. All right. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call C A L L. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And right. like and follow us. I don't, I don't think I said that earlier. Like and follow us. All right. Yeah. Like us. Subscribe. All the things. Do all the social things. <laughs> like us. <laughs> <laughs> no, just sound a little pathetic. Like Please <laughs> like us. <laughs> Please like us. All right. Hey, we like you and we love you being here. All right. But before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you are purposefully and wonderfully created. You were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.